Hello everybody, welcome back to Skyrim Part 3, I do believe And I'm hoping that after the last episode that the, uh, the lag has been sorted out, I think I hope so anyway Oh, but we appear to have a pair of feet missing on that guard That's not good, is it? Okay <laughs> right, uh, and for uh, for Carpy DC, there's the outfit that he recommended that I uh, right download. Put it on Catone or Catone. Still here. Still here. Very nice. And of course, Sue Widden's wearing the the outfit that she always wears for uh, adventuring. <laughs> Joke, really. That should be worn indoors, Sue Widden. That's private, not for outdoors. And Sophia is off in the background, just doing what she always does, and just walks away and leaves me alone. Leaves me to it. I've done a lot of uh, crafting, as you can see, from the outfits, and made myself a new outfit as well. I'm covered in dwarven gear. I've also wandered our way over to... Iverst Iverstone, is it? Iverstead. I've run over to Iverstead all the way from White Run, so we can continue with the uh, main quest, which is go to High Hrothgar and speak to the Greybeards. So I think we'll get busy with that. Um, I've had an issue. Uh, I'm still enjoying the mods, by the way. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I have had an issue though with with some of the um, the graphics, uh, especially indoors. Some of the static armor uh, uh, turned out to be like a purple color, and I like researched in it. It, it seemed to be pointing to memory problems, right so I downloaded the uh, the fix for that. It's something to do with Skyrim, the way it uses its packets or something, the memory. And it upgrades it to 512, I do believe, so I really don't know what I'm talking about, but I've installed it anyway. Right, let's get back to the quest, shall we? Hello, Klimek. Do, do you want me, do you? Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. Okay, you want me to do it? The greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of prison. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. 7,000 steps? <laughs> uh, well, okay, I'm going up there. I can do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Anything I should watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Okay, uh, what can you tell me about High Rothgar? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of Methuen, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Okay. Be careful up there. I'll try. Oh, I'll tell you who we need to speak to before I go I running off. There's a lady here on the... No, she's not. Okay, alright. Change your plan, folks. Let us head up the 7,000 steps, shall we? What's this? Is 
Okay. There's one. I need to keep on the lookout for some uh, red mountain flowers as well. Oh, what, what the hell? You're really not going to last long with the, my group of... <laughs> Thank you, folks. Oh. Relieve you of your goods. That's a wooden. Sorry, is that you singing? Oh, bless her. That happens when you keep me out all night. Start making a brand of songs. Do you have something to say? Uh, no, not at this moment. Pleasant to me. I mean, who in the right mind would eat a giant skull or troll crack? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Uh, what are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Do you visit the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. This is going to be a long run to the top. Oh, we have... Wolf! Ice wolf pelt. pelt. That was an ice wolf. Here comes another one. Nothing to loot. Okay. Nice job, guys. What's this way? Not another shrine, is it? That I don't might miss. No. Okay. We'll head this way then. Is it? That's very inviting. I'm <laughs> not going to go that way though. <laughs> There's a shrine, we need that. Let's get a shrine. Okay. Was there something you wanted? Uh, no. Don't want to miss a shrine. I do remember something about these that you get them all and you get something at the end of it. I can't remember what, but I remember the quest. 
stories before. It was quite a while ago when I played this. Yes. Did you want something? I mean, the game is four years old now. It's over four years old. Still looking pretty damn good, though. Look at that. Oh, oh that's a cracking moon. I'm all ears. Well, not literally, of course. Where's the next shrine? There's one. Hello. Keep yes. I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Okay. Until next time. Read the tablets. Let me guess. You want to talk? You guessed wrong, Sophia. I don't want to talk. I just want to take in the scenery and enjoy this long gas run up to the top. <laughs> Oh, hang on a minute. Do you have something to say? I remember something about this. Didn't there used to be a a snow troll over here? Well, look at that. Come on then. Come on. Here, boy. <laughs> I really don't have to do very much. <laughs> I think I remember the very first time I came up here when I first got the game and I was very low level and I think it kicked my ass that. I didn't have any fire spells on me, so it killed me I think. Back in the day. Right. There used to be one tucked away somewhere. I hope I haven't missed it. God, but these girls are cold. Not really the outfits for wandering about in the snow, is it? But they don't seem to complain. This is the one that I missed at one point in one save many, many moons ago. Maybe not. It's on the route. I don't know if you can see the FPS there. I'm getting a steady 60 frames per second, so that's better. Oh, you must be freezing, girls. There's one. Try not to fall off. Still here. I've got your back. Put some clothes on, Seri. You've got clothes, you don't need to wander around in those. They were supposed to be for a home. Ah, there's one.
It's getting very breezy up here. Oh, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Thank God for that. Is this the last altar? Oh, don't tell me I've missed one. Oh no, there's one. Voice of the sky added. There we go. Uh, right, we need to interact with this chest, I do believe. Search. it would be under but I've got something to put in here haven't I all this stuff I'm carrying around nope. tell me it's gone right to the bottom Let's try and sort. Equipped, no. Stolen, no. Enchanted, no. Names go after B. did give us something to put in this, didn't he? That guy at the bottom. I thought it would have been a sack of some kind, but obviously not. Okay, I'm slightly confused there. Would it be under food? No. There it is. Clemic Supplies. Thank you. Right. Just head into High Hrothgar. Get out of the cold. Oh, there we go. She's got changed. Now she put some clothes on when she comes inside. Yes, I'm listening. Hello. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. 
Yes? Did you want something? Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? I'm answering your summons. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. Thank you. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Uh, I want to find out what it means to be a Dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Okay. Ready to learn. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But... Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. I'm, I'm sure I do. You have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thun, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb or shot. Ro. Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Okay, thank you. Demonstrate your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. What's on your mind? Well done. Again. Yes? Did you want something? You learn quickly. Once more. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. What's on your mind? We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Okay. I'll take it you want Master Bori then. <laughs> But I need to follow. Okay. Walk a little faster, please. Just stroll this way. There once was a lady named Ragnar. 
Sari singing. <laughs> What's on your mind? Do you have something to say? Sophie, you're getting very annoying. We will now see how you learn a completely new shunt. Master Bori will teach you wolf, which means whirlwind. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thing. Can't use it yet. Let's favorite that. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Okay. Now your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. I'm right behind you. Your quick mastery of a new Thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? Uh, I don't know how I do it, it just happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Okay, achievement unlocked. Um, why the dragon's returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt, the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Uh, okay, thank you, Master. I will continue my training. That'll Good. do. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Who was Jürgen Windkoll? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. That's a bit unfortunate. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. All right, we need to move to get you, to split you two up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Oh dear. Right, uh, what was I gonna check on then? Okay, so what was the quest again? The Horn of Jürgen Windcaller. Ustengraf. What's nearest to that then? Morthal. So we need to get to Morthal somehow, and I suppose the easiest way to do that... Really, where are we now? 
Well, it's a long ass run from there, so if we go to White Run, get the coach to Marthal, then we can walk over to Ustern Graf. That's very clear sky out tonight. Let's have a look over here. Oh, look at that. Let's have a look over here. Whoa, that's a long way down. And I think that is an appropriate place to call this episode. Uh, we can go to Houston Grav maybe in next episode. I hope you liked it, guys. I'm thoroughly enjoyed in this mod in doing the uh, the new outfits for the girls, even though they don't seem to want to wear them. <laughs> I will uh, see what we can do about making some more by the time we get around to the next episode. See if we can have a, a change. Uh, guess maybe try, try and get some decent stuff on them and on myself. I think. Uh, what are we at level? What level are we at the moment? Level 11, so maybe we'll hit level 12 before I get next episode. Alright guys and girls, this is All Grey, signing off. <laughs>